Nice like is obviously we don't need to train her in any way, shape or form, so we're free to level her as we see fit. Now she's more of a dual, a two-handed person, so I'm going to be levelling that more than anything. Plus, well, she's a... a f I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't actually read that. Yeah, she's a, she's a Jedi Sentinel, so she's the same as what Bastila was in the last game. So, she's going to have a sort of a midway between powers. Now, I want to give her throw lightsaber. And I'll just leave that for the time being. I'll give her a force regen. I'll give her a heal as well. And I'll also give her night speed. Ah, uh, yes. Jet over Jedi in this game can learn the various other styles as well. But they have to get up to the right levels, which is why I'm sort of refraining from the other stuff, from the other levelling of my characters for now. Right, give her that. Force immunity to paralysis, nice. Okay, give her... what else can I give her? Um, a finesse with lightsabers? I think she has a quite a high dexterity rating, improved heal, and yeah, that's that. Now let's give her number 2k apprentice robe. Now obviously, now you can't see anything on there as well, so she'll have an immunity to poison. Don't know why I gave her that. Yay, we have our second lightsaber user for now. Although, she's, she's going to be one of those characters that I sort of temporarily use every now and then, because my main force is going to be in Pand Maiden, just because I like her more. I feel she's more of a force to be reckoned with. Hang on one second. Right, then, there we go. And there's Master Vrook, but first I want to be buying some stuff. Misk. He hasn't got anything that we want. What can we sell him now? Some false pike. Yeah, this is what I'll show you in a second. I'll show you after the battle. Anyway. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. What can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defences. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make... Though if we lose this battle, nowhere and on to... Okay, I'll check out the defences. Here is soon. Or... Let's just swap out 
These two for these two. Now the main thing for here... Okay, maybe not. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plans quiet for now to avoid panic. Now oh, there is a droid bay in here. Now oh, there we go, Torx controls. Where's our computer use one? Sure, that's as good as it's gonna get. Yep, that's what I thought. Ah, yes, we need to get some computer spikes. Has someone stuck that we can use? Maybe not. No, I do want these though. Now the main thing for here that we need to be doing is healing people. Healing people and making people better. That's the main priority for in here. Welcome back. No. He's going to disappear soon anyway, so don't worry. Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Damn. So I think I need to speak to him. I was right about you. You mercenary. Any ideas on what I can do to help? We could use people handy. Yeah. What kind of things need fixing? Off the top. I already know what needs fixing new, I'll just go as Now we can convince a few people to join us. Thanks for the help. Since you're asking me, I suppose I zero That's one person. No, no, there's a few more people, but I can't remember them all. But I know two people for definite. You'll find a little welcome here, Jedi. I won. Yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. That's another one. Now I'm gonna plant a few of these mines.
Well, actually, it should be Bayo Dare that plants them, but. Why Bayodair and uh, T3 come in handy? Set and activated. Set and activated. Oh, it's all in a day's work for a Jedi. Set and activated. Set and activated. Yes, I wish to turn solo mode off. Let's see free. Well, let's go find Bayo Dur and finish prepping for the battle. Would you be interested in joining the commute? It's not a famous job, very short term but dangerous. I think I can see where this is. So, you want me to buy stuff from you? Oh. So let's see what these Forian charges are good for then. the doors that you can't get into for some reason or another. Okay, so we're in one of the side doors now. What's going on? Obviously, loot for us is better than no loot at all. I have this open in no time. Child's play. Yeah, come on. Pop to it, Mr. Spiky Head. Another Matukai apprentice oh, row, but I don't want that. Masasi ceremonial armor. I believe that's quite good armor. I have this open in no time. Child's play. Ah, Chani heavy armor. Now that is good armor. There we are getting some good, really good. 